Welcome to this Sim360 process presentation. In this video, you will see how Autodesk Sim360 can be used to make design decisions based on a stress analysis. Autodesk Sim360 can perform various types of analysis, including static stress, thermal stress, modal frequencies, and fatigue. Once you have the model data imported, you can easily remove non-critical components from the simulation. You begin setting up the analysis by declaring your materials, structural constraints, design loads, and assembly contacts. Material properties define the structural characteristics of each part. You can override the material settings for each component in the assembly. Structural constraints restrict or limit the theoretical movement of the model. In this simulation, the base of the flange lock assembly is fixed in position. Loads define the forces and conditions necessary for the simulation. In this case, a 100 Newton force will be applied to the inner surface of the flange lock. Contacts define how forces are transmitted from one part to another and can be automatically applied to the design. Once you have the analysis set up, you can run it in the cloud. The model and analysis settings are uploaded and quickly processed. The results are then downloaded to your computer. When the results are returned, you view them in the results environment. Here you have various tools that allow you to explore and visualize the results. Generating a cross-section allows you to investigate interior surfaces. You can probe the results manually or easily identify the maximum and minimum values. The legend allows you to easily focus on a specific range of results. Now we can create a new simulation with 120 Newton force applied to the flange lock. After we receive the new results, we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the results and determine if our design is valid. The Sim360 process demonstrated in this video can be used on many different types of designs and generate many types of critical engineering analysis results.